Wavetable is a powerful synthesizer with a flexible modulation and routing system. In this video, we'll explore its features, navigate the user interface, and learn how to assign modulation. Top left of the UI, you'll find a menu. This includes accessibility and MPE options, in addition to UI scaling. Next, we can see a display for the number of active layers, a CPU meter, and a panic button, which will stop all voices should you need to. The folder icon opens the preset browser, which allows filtering by author and tags. The plus and minus buttons are for saving and deleting presets, and undo and redo is supported with these arrow buttons. Finally, there is an output scope. In the oscillator section, there are two wavetable oscillators, plus a noise and sub oscillator. The wavetable oscillators support up to eight voice unison and four distortion modes. There are 80 included wavetables and additional wavetables can be imported by dragging and dropping a wave file onto the oscillator graphic. If the file includes serum format metadata, they'll automatically be imported. Otherwise, the table size can be manually specified. The noise oscillator supports two noise types, while the sub oscillator has six waveforms. The filter section has two filters, each with eight shapes. They can be routed either serial or parallel. The 1, 2, S, N buttons, top of the filter section, select which oscillators are routed into which filter. If an oscillator is routed to neither filter, then it bypasses the filter section. Note that when filters are in serial configuration, oscillators can still be routed to the second filter, bypassing the first. The ADSR envelope supports times of up to 60 seconds, features adjustable curves, and velocity tracking. The filter effects button center left switch between the filter amp section and the effects section. There are eight effects including transgate, chorus, distortion with 10 modes, delay, reverb, natural and plate, a three band EQ, a limiter, and a filter. The effects can be reordered by simply dragging their header. The modulation sources include four LFOs, three envelopes, four macros, MPE pressure, timbre and bend, MIDI note number, velocity, MIDI pitch, mod wheel and all the MIDI controllers. There are two ways to assign modulation. The sources are either represented by two rings per voice mod source or one ring, global mod source. The mod source rings can be dragged and dropped onto destination parameters, which will apply modulation at full strength. Or, the mod source rings can be clicked, and then any knob touched will have modulation applied by the amount set by turning the dial. Click the mod source ring again to disable this mode. Once modulation is assigned, a small pie will appear showing the modulation depth. For knobs, only one pie will appear. But for LFOs, envelopes, and macros, up to five pies will appear for modulation destinations. The pie can be dragged to adjust modulation depth. Please note that when modulating a knob with discrete steps like oscillator tune, octave, or LFO beat, the modulation depth will also have discrete steps, making it easy to use the LFO as a step sequencer, for example. LFOs can either be time-based or synced to the beat and feature four trigger modes. In loop mode, simply right-click on points to set the start and end of the loop. The LFO shapes can either be drawn manually, double-clicking for each point, or by enabling draw mode. With draw mode enabled, you can click and drag common LFO shapes. The disk icon allows loading and saving LFO shape presets including 24 factory presets. A list of all modulation sources can be found in the SRC box. 
The center section of the UI shows a list of other commonly used mod sources, saving time from having to look in the SRC list. The SRC list can be switched to show the mod matrix, which lists all assigned modulations. From here, modulation can be disabled, depth adjusted, bipolar toggled, shape adjusted, or deleted. Four macros can be assigned to make controlling several parameters at once easier, and macros can be renamed by simply double-clicking, typing, and pressing Enter. The global section toggles between mono and polyphonic, plus controls the number of voices and output levels. This section can be toggled to show the arpeggiator. I hope this video serves as a good introduction to Wavetable. Enjoy exploring the preset content and creating your own sounds.